Please join me in welcoming Michael Kratzios. Good evening, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for the kind introduction, and, uh, and thank you uh, to CDT for the opportunity to, to be with you tonight. This evening, I want to take a little bit of time to, to address what the White House is doing to advance American technology leadership. We see it in primarily three pillars. The first is defending American technologies abroad. The second is promoting emerging technologies. And the third, third is empowering Americans to innovate. As you no doubt know, the Trump administration has been working hard to secure free, fair, and reciprocal trade on the global scene. But beyond the recent news on steel and aluminum, we have also been working diligently to address the technology and digital economy priorities for you in this room and for the American public at large. This administration is standing strong, determined to ensure America's future economic leadership and security by advancing emerging technologies and stopping unfair trade practices. As you can see this in our recent actions at the WTO to address China's discriminatory licensing restrictions against U.S. technologies and our actions directing the Treasury Department to address harm to the U.S. resulting from Chinese investment practices directed towards acquiring sensitive technologies. I'd like to quote from our national security strategy, which came out in December, which is one of our most seminal documents. The internet is an American invention, and it should reflect our values as it continues to transform the future for all nations and all generations. The United States will continue to advocate for open, interoperable communications with minimal barriers to the global exchange of information and services. Our national security and future economic growth depend on this. So at this point in history, we must work with our allies to advance emerging technologies and not slow their development. As you all know, the theme for tonight's gala is online for good. In keeping with that theme, I have a lot of good news to share with you tonight after returning from Montreal, where my team spent the last two days representing the U.S. at the G7 Ministerial for Employment and Innovation. At this meeting, I had the opportunity to interact with representatives from many of America's closest economic and political allies. The theme of, me of the meeting was preparing for the jobs of the future, and we covered a lot of territory important to many of you here tonight. During the meeting, ministers discussed how each of our nations is dealing with the issues we have in common. How do we increase the rate of technological innovation in the Western world? How do we encourage more participation in STEM-related fields from people of diverse backgrounds and all walks of life? And how can we help our workforce prepare for the future when the rate of technological advancement continues to accelerate, creating dramatic shifts in the employment landscape? Ministers also addressed the productivity declines that developed nations, including those in the G7, have been experiencing for years. Our best hope at fighting back against this trend is technology unrestrained by overburdensome and unnecessary government regulation. In Montreal, G7 leaders agreed to recognize that market-led AI innovations will positively impact key industries, including healthcare, transportation, manufacturing, and agriculture. And together, we stood resolute in our opposition to force transfer of source code and mass market software as terms to market access. The G7 is just one example of the work my team has been doing to advance American innovation. We're working to promote emerging technologies, like unmanned aircraft systems that are enabling Americans to be more efficient and do their jobs more safely and more effectively. Incredible jobs like infrastructure inspection can be now be done exponentially faster without risking the human life, and we can give inspectors tools like drones instead of repelling equipment. And artificial intelligence is helping the American worker do their jobs better, whether it's spotting financial fraud or diagnosing cancer. These technologies are making life better for real Americans every day. In order to fully benefit from these technologies' advances, we need a regulatory environment that encourages innovation and empowers our greatest technologists and scientists to develop their technologies here in the U.S. And the next generation of our greatest technologists and scientists will be a product of the actions today 
to increase access to STEM education for all segments of society. This is a cornerstone of our tech agenda, and President Trump has taken executive action to increase STEM funding and to expand apprenticeship programs to ready today's youth for the workforce of tomorrow. It's important for us, government, academia, and industry, to forge creative pathways of opportunity for people to gain the skills that tech firms need today and for far into the future. This ensures Americans of all stripes will continue to incubate great ideas for years to come. As we celebrate tonight the good that technology does for society, I invite you to reach out to us within the administration. We want to be a partner in advancing technological innovation in this great country. We want to hear about your pain points and the challenges you face, and more importantly, how we can help. Together, we can make the future a reality today. Many thank you.